Gets around to Haas, drops Columb in, gives to the right. Here's Armin in. Palmer down and out. Here's a puck that just barely got swatted out of harm's way. Oh my goodness. Jackson Wade. Here comes to Haas. Shorthanded scores. Defense to offense. Shorty 2 1 Ontario. That play is only possible because of the captain, Jackson Wade. He swatted a puck away that was maybe an inch from the goal line with James Palmer down and out. It somehow found a Haas who went streaking the other way. Ben gets on the board, and Ontario takes a shorthanded goal for a 2-1 lead. Tripped up and just barely saving it was Milani. Here's a pass in front. Spring can't cover. Rolls out. Flipped up. Score! Gabby Cox trickles over the top of Annie Spring. Boston's moving on to the gold medal game. Ethan Vernick versus David Smith. Remember, last season in the semifinal round against Santa Barbara, the Burbank Cougars won a shootout 2-1. to one. Yep. So they have some experience in playoff shootouts. It'll be Ethan Vernick to go. Well, it's that pick your poison. Would you rather kill two minutes and lose your power play or face one shot? They'll get one shot, and it's Ethan Vernick. Everyone on their feet here at the TSC. Here comes Vernick up high! Burbank grabs a 2-1 lead. Ontario's trying to get this game back under control, trying to get this weekend back under control. As Kobe Gosling goes to the draw, Zawartney wins it for Long Beach. Still up for grabs, and Zawartney gets to it. He circles around, looks back to the left point. Alexander takes a look. Nobody there to pick up the loose change. Kobe Gosling can't get the puck away. Zach Staggers will instead. As he picks his head up, he wants to get it to Ben to Haas, but doesn't have the numbers. One-handed into the zone. They'll chase it down low. Back out. Here comes the Wartney. He scored the second goal yesterday, taken away by the Haas. Is he going to win the foot race? Gosling lost sight of it. It was in between his skates. Touched it up, searching for the Haas once more. Stepping up outside the blue line is Thompson. Ontario's got a touch up. 20-plus seconds left to go in the four-on-four. Quarterback by Boucher as he gets Alexander to dump it in and head to the bench. Stagnus got enough to feed it across for Thompson, who returns the favor for Cruteau. Juna picks his head up. Stretch pass for Colby Cunnington. Cunnington tries to toe drag his way around. Loose puck is taken right back by Alexander Arusa. Power play is now on here for Long Beach, their first of the night. For the next... 40 seconds. Both goals yesterday again. War of the power play variety. Towing is Shears. Gives it up. Frank steps up. Already a goal in the game. Goes across. Urasov couldn't settle the puck. And this one goes right through everybody. Nudged off of the handle that time was Damon Agumen. Back out to the logo. One last rush here for the Shredders. We got a broken step for Toe. Lost his lumber. Spinning around is Pablo Frank at the faceoff dot. He takes a shot and sends it into Palmer. We'll get a faceoff and then the end of a power play. We were talking about it yesterday when uh, the Ontario Junior Reign arrived at the rink and uh, were getting ready for the game. And when we walked in to see them for the first time, there was some sort of energy about them last night. And it really took me, not say by surprise, as they'll get maybe a two on two the other way, a shot from the grandeur missed everything. But there was certainly something of a different feeling in the building last night for Ontario. We now later know that those good vibes led to a franchise high in goals. Keach is gonna go to the box for interference here. So Ontario will go back. Onto a compete sports power play, their second of the period. But here tonight, the point I'm getting at is I'm not necessarily feeling that same vibe when I walked into the building. There was a great crowd on hand last night to witness those nine goals. We got Hunter Keach to the box. Interference to call on Ontario back on the man up. To the 
draw goes Josh Shears. He loses it. Zotner spins one off of the circle. And it rolled up the sleeve and into the corner off the glass. Back in front goes Gruteau. Rebound put back by Bauer. Two denials. Here's another shot coming from Aggieman on the point. A couple of big stops by Arnold. He seems to be a little bit more locked in here tonight. Aggieman circles back here to get Bauer. They circle it wide one more time for Aggieman who feeds it down low. Zotner off the wall, stomps on the brakes and looks back in front of the net. A little touch searching Bauer, didn't get to him. Aggieman, the defenseman, almost lost his skates there. Zotner takes it back. Chris crosses for Couteau who gives it back on the backhand, scores! Brandon Bauer. Just can't stop finding the back of the net. That's his fourth in the last two games. And Ontario's on the board with a power play goal. Brandon Bauer makes it 2-1, cuts the deficit in half. That's his fourth goal. Get this, in the last 25 hours. What a boost to the offense. So it'll be a power play goal. Ontario is now one of two on their respective power play today. It's under four to play here in this first period. Zawartney pushed off by Wade. And number 95, We are gonna get a holding call. 15-57. And it's going to go against Ontario, it looks. So we are up and running again as far as power plays are concerned, as far as penalty minutes are concerned. Jackson Wade is going to the box. And it's back on an NBC Suites penalty kill. This will be the second power play chance. This one, in theory, should last two minutes. Face off to the left of Palmer. And back to the man up here for Long Beach. Shredders have Pablo Frank out there. Zawartney, Shears, Urasov, and Gifford. The five power players on the ice right now for the white and strike. Kept with Urasov as he cuts towards the net. And it's waved off. They wave it off. They think they have a goal, but they're apparently waving it off. There was no point. There were hands in the air. Long Beach thinks they have a goal. Palmer says no chance. And that is indeed the case. Pablo Frank makes his complaint. Nicholas Perez, the assistant coach for the Long Beach Shredders, is there to hear the explanation, Emerson Edom is also there far off to uh, hear the explanation that they probably don't want to hear. So it remains two to one, a buck 38 to go in the power play. Josh Shears to the faceoff dot, loses it to Cruteau. Frank into the zone. Pulls the brakes and gives up to the opposite wing. He wants Gifford off the wall. He's got Gifford off the wall. There's a little help from Urasov. Gifford still with the handle, leaves up for Zawartney, who circles it right back. Stepped into the wide slot, and Gifford sends it to the leather. A minute four to go on the power play. Fans, make sure to visit the El Rancho taco truck during tonight's game. Located outside the front door, El Rancho taco truck Zach Stagnus pinned up along the wall after the faceoff took the puck up to the dasher. Fed out to Zawartney, steps up with a slapper from the point, and Palmer with zero traffic is able to see and snag. This will be the final game of the weekend here for the Long Beach Shredders in Ontario Junior Reign. Boys will not meet for a third time tomorrow. Again, this is, this is the first time that uh, Long Beach has come here this weekend 
saved by the netminder Palmer. Frank gives it back up. Zawartney holds it on the blue paint. Gifford wants to go across. Got it back from Zawartney. Watched closely by Krutel. Urasov down low. Comes from the goal line to the faceoff dot. Kicked away by the toe of Palmer and into the corner. Peeled away towards the slot, and Frank's shot goes high in the air. Curteau with a swat in the sky, got it out to the logo. 18 seconds to go, one last push here for the Long Beach power play. Or suffer an 0 for 2 fate thus far. Gave up down low, Urasov missed the mitt. Whips to the right point, Zawartney keeps it alive. Five seconds to go, one last push. Stagnus gets it out. And that'll do it for the Long Beach power play. They are 0 for 2. They have certainly crawled back in this game in the shots column, now trailing 13-10 and lead this contest 2 to 1. Long Beach, that is. Frank under duress on the back check. Poke towards the net and scores out of nowhere. Kobe Gosling defensively just pokes at it and ties the game. Just the way you drew it up. Kobe Gosling sneaks his way to goal number four on the season. How's that, huh? That'll be an unassisted goal. And we have a body down on the ice that looks like it's Josh Cattell. Patel got slammed into the wall. And it turns into a full-fledged meeting of the minds. And Cattell, very slow to get up. He is moving, though. That's a good sign. And he will be checked on. And he got slammed into the wall. He is moving. We saw his feet just a second ago. And there he is moving again. That's at least... Good sign number one. And hopefully he's able to raise himself back up. I beg your pardon, that's Cody Fitzgerald, if I'm not mistaken. And everybody holds their breath here at Ontario Center Ice Arena. It was a 50-50 uh, battle into the corner that eventually had him slam into the glass. Fitzgerald <laughs> to the seat of his pants now, which is a good sign. Clearly will have all the time that he needs to make sure he's okay. That's Angelo Picasso over there to check on him alongside Bryce Cooper to help him back to his feet. So we'll keep our eye out for Cody Fitzgerald the rest of the way. He's just going to go straight to the locker room and get checked on further. And again, fingers crossed that he can return here today. We'd love to see him get back out on the ice. And those plays can always be dangerous. They happen so often you kind of forget about it. You stop thinking you're going full speed at a wall on skates with another 200 pound man behind you, also doing the exact same thing. When you describe it that way, oh yeah, that is a little dangerous, isn't it? That'll bring the face off outside the zone. There is no penalty. Ontario is asking why the, uh, the face off is coming outside of the zone. Doesn't matter, it's gonna be dropped regardless. Ryland Semenik wins it and feeds it back Ontario, in up along the wall. John Alexander is there, Ryland Semenik feeds it back across on a backhand swat. There's Gosling who just got the equalizer moments ago prior to that injury timeout. As he's pinned up along the wall, Semenik got a stick on it, 
It goes off of a glove and out of play. That'll bring the face-off last touched by Ontario, so it'll bring it outside the blue line. Sixty seconds exactly here to go in period one up on the board officially. Little trouble with there for Jackson Wade. Whip swat by Semenik. He's trying to get Lagrandrew who has to circle around in the neutral zone. 3v1 in favor of the white and stripe as Aggieman bumps away Zinortney and keeps with it. Got ran into by Alexander Urasov, and Aggieman's going to have to circle back. Considering how this game started for Long Beach with a pair of goals, including one shorthanded. Ontario can get out of here with a 2-2 tie, call it a win. And this one of the opposite wing missed everything. Boucher was trying to sneak it with Palmer sliding to his right. Frank's pass picked off by Shields. He uses the wall. Semenik touches, and he's off to the races. Here comes Rylan Semenik with 10 seconds to go in the period. Looks down low, and jumping on top to make the save is Arnold. Nine point one here in the first. That was the 15th shot of the period for the rain. The toe to the draw, wins it back. DeHaas is just gonna swat from there, or rather Aggieman, doesn't matter much. This is gonna be the end of the period. They'll chip it up ahead, and we are out of time. So a pair of goals for the Shredders, and a response by the rain. Two to two, your score. As we head to the second period, our first intermission, you're watching the USBHL Premier Division, Ontario versus Long Beach, and you're doing it right here on Hockey TV.